Welcome back to the Fuel Show. Our second behind the wheel this week will be a minivan. We're taking a look at the Honda Odyssey. And then in our In the Pit segment, we're going to join Ty from Baxter Auto Parts, and I hear we're going to get a history lesson. Now, Volvo's name has become synonymous with safety in the past, and let's take a look at Volvo's crash prevention system in Fuel News. It's in the news. 75% of all reported collisions occur at relatively low speed, up to 30 kilometers an hour, and are fairly common accidents in city traffic. Unnecessary traffic queue accidents that cost both a lot of money and a lot of suffering. Volvo Cars has now developed a unique system that assists with the braking of the car if it is about to collide and the driver doesn't react. The car brakes by itself. Uh, the system works uh, that we have a optical sensor placed in the top of the windshield which monitors the traffic in front of the vehicle and when we see a hazardous situation uh, close to collision we um, intervene with the brakes and avoid the collision. The optical radar that is placed in the car's windscreen can detect vehicles that are relatively far away from the front of the car and assists in braking at speeds of up to 30 kilometers an hour. The uniqueness in this system lies in us preventing the accident instead of dealing with the consequences of it. Volvo has called this invention city safety and are convinced that this technique that avoids collisions at low speeds will radically reduce this type of minor accident. The ambitions with the system is of course to uh, drastically uh, lower the these type of uh, city traffic queue collisions uh, and uh, our ambition is actually 50 percent reduction. A reduction in collisions would entail a reduction in repair costs, which in turn would lead to lower insurance premiums. Uh, of course it will minimize the collisions, uh, but it's actually the risk for um, whiplash injuries in these type of collisions in, and the very large insurance costs that are involved in these type of collisions that is uh, the real point. The Swedish National Road Administration, who also actively work with preventive traffic safety, estimate that many whiplash injuries that are a major problem today could be radically reduced with the help of this technique. In Sweden we have had a fairly long tradition of research into the field of whiplash. We have accepted whiplash as a major uh, problem in traffic. So we have done epidemiological studies seeing what is the frequency of this injury. Uh, and from that we have also seen that car manufacturers have started to look at solutions to protect from whiplash. We have also in Sweden developed the research and development tools needed in form of a good crash test dummy uh, developed especially for whiplash protection assessment. It's quite clear that in the future city safety will be able to prevent many unnecessary collisions. However, before launching the system, a number of tests are still to be carried out. We hope to be able to introduce this system in production vehicles within two years.